Hallo meine lieben Freunde und willkommen zurück zu meinem Let's Play Arcanum. Tja, das letzte Mal sind wir auf die Isle of Despair gefahren. Da sind wir jetzt auch und wir haben schon eine Mini-Quest erfüllt. Wir haben die Synthia Box aus den Reihen hier befreit. Auf eine sehr einfache Art und Weise eigentlich. Es hat uns Erfahrungspunkte gebracht. Und jetzt rennen wir mal durch die Stadt und schauen, ob wir noch ein paar einfache Aufgaben kriegen. I say yes. Hello sir, might I ask you who you are? I be called Nori and out here on the isle. Nothing more, nothing less. Greetings, what is it you do around here, Norian? Try to keep to myself mostly. When I'm not doing that, I brew a little potato moonshine. Potatoes are about the only thing that'll grow on this godforsaken island. I see. Must be quite a demand for strong drink out here. You can say that again, lad. Not much else to take a man's mind off things. Makes me right popular around here. As well, most of the men come here when they got something to trade. Speaking of, he looks you over, considering. I might have a job for you, if you're looking for work. What sort of work are you talking about, Norian? It's not a difficult piece of work. I trade with an old man by the name of Max Maximilian, who lives out in the wilds beyond the village wall. Old Max ain't a bad sort, but dangerous, you know what I mean? I've owned him a jug of moonshine for a fortnight, but with all of the men disappearing, I've been scared to go out and take it to him. Perhaps I might be of assistance. You're a braver soul than I. If you're willing to face whatever's out there, old Max might not even be alive, but I don't want to make him mad if he is. If you take this jug out of to him, I'll give you a jug of your own. You never know what some old Norian's moonshine is worth. Tja, das frage ich mich auch gerade, was das wohl wert sein könnte. Ah, I'll do so and return. Es bringt auf jeden Fall Erfahrungspunkte. That's grand. Here's the moonshine. He hands you a jug. And here's where old Maximilian has, was living the last time I saw him. He points to a place on your map. Tell Maximilian to give you a note confirmed the delivery, confirming the delivery. You bring that back and I'll give you a jug for yourself. Okay. Ja, dieser Maximilian, an den kann ich mich erinnern. Das ist ein alter Ritter. Ähm ich frage mich gerade, was man mit dem machen kann, mit dem Mondschein. Naja. Äh ich bin mir nicht sicher, wir hätten vielleicht vorher nach Dörnholm gehen sollen. Wenn wir nämlich vorher in Dörnholm waren, hätten wir möglicherweise mit dem Maximilian nämlich irgendwas besprechen können, soweit ich mich entsinnen kann. Jetzt, wo er mir das erzählt hat, ähm, ist mir das wieder eingefallen. Ja, schauen wir mal. Schauen wir mal weiter. Da ist ein Bett. Okay. Ah, da ist die. Da ist eine große Grube. Ich will da nicht reinfallen. Ich fürchte, da drin werden wir kämpfen müssen. Aber. Wieso haben die da so viele Wachen eigentlich? Ich meine, das ist eine Verbrecherinsel und dann haben sie eine Wache neben der anderen. Hm, vielleicht weil es eine Verbrecherinsel ist. Die wissen halt einfach, dass es gefährlich ist. Mhm. So, großes Haus. Ich würde mal fast sagen, da müssen wir hin. Who is that what who is it that wants me? I was told to speak to Ogden. I'm Ogden. What is it you wish to speak to me about? It's imperative that I find the dwarf Torvald to speak with him. 
Torvald resides behind this, these doors. Only a select few are allowed on our audience. It is my charge to filter out those undeserving of the honor. He may be able to help me. I must speak with him. I have a very specific rule I am pledged to follow. No one enters without first proving themselves on the field of battle, so to speak. The field of battle? The field of battle in this instance would be the pit. Barbaric, but effective in detouring the undesirable elements. <laughs> sehr gut, sehr gut. Um Leute loszuwerden, die sowieso nur Blödsinn wollen, uh, müssen sie kämpfen. Wenn sie was wollen von ihm. The pit. The island is so is sorely lacking in any kind of entertainment, so the men inver invented their own barbaric form, pit fighting. Mm -hmm. I must prove myself in the pit, win a fight. Yes, if you are interested, go speak with Gorin, the pit master. He will arrange a fight if you wish. Winning in the pit is the only way to get in to see Torvald. I'm afraid so. You're an educated individual. You must see I'm not a commoner. Yes, it has been very pleasant speaking to you. It is a nice change. Ich finde das immer wieder faszinierend, dass man hier, äh, dass in dem Spiel Oger nicht unbedingt als besonders dumm dargestellt werden. <lacht> Must I bother with that barbaric pit fight? It's pointless violence. You seem like a decent chap and I don't detect any subterfuge on your part. Torvald will be cross with me, but go on in. He hands you a key. You have my gratitude. Ah, mit Reden kommt man ja doch zusammen. It has been my pleasure. Can I ask you another question? Das wäre eh besser so, weil ich bin mir nicht sicher. Ich glaube, im Pit müssen wir alleine kämpfen. Of course. What is it you wish to know? Uh, no offense, but you seem very articulate for an ogre. No offense perceived, sir. In actuality, I am but a half ogre. Never having had contact with either of my parents, I do not have any information as to the specific nature of my lineage. You never knew your parents? No, I have a vague recollection of the orphanage, though, but something about the memory seems a bit peculiar. What seems peculiar about it? It is a most strange thing. As I remember it, all the other children were half-ogres like myself. What's wrong with that? It is very rare that a human and an ogre would mate, and most of the time these coupling, couplings are the result of force. If there were significant numbers of rapes being committed by ogres, I believe the newspapers would have been overflowing with calls to eradicate ogres. Ah, oh, verstehe. Möglicherweise ein Regierungsexperiment. Were you ever placed in a home? I have noticed that many city gnomes use half-ogre servants. Hmm. Now that you mention it, it does seem a bit strange. Even I spent some time myself as a servant to a gnome of rather high standings. Ooh, die Gnomen. Hmm. Did you work for gnomes? Oder Gnomes. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie man das richtig ausspricht. Gnomes oder Gnomes? Ich glaube Gnomes eher. Did you work for Gnomes your whole life before coming here? No. From a very early age, I remember working in a printer's shop from the early morning hours to well into the evening. I would then retire to the storage room where I was allowed to rest for a few hours. The next day I would be up before day break to start again. Before break, daybreak to start again. That sounds truly distressing. How long did you work there for? I have no way to gorge how long I spent in that miserable shop. Eventually I was rescued by a well-to-do gnome who made a big show about paying the printmaster sum of money for the inconvenience. 
I now recognize this as the accepted way to buy and sell in individuals. I worked for Mr. Chaplain until I was sent here. Why were you sent here? Mr. Chaplain did not wish to have a savage serving his guests, so he hired a tutor for me. Miriam was her name. I never knew that humans could be kind, or even what kindness was until I met her. She taught me for three years until I began to ask too many questions. <laughs> Jetzt kommt davon, wenn man die Leute ausbildet, dann könnte es sein, dass sie Fragen stellen. Ah, einer der Gründe, warum das Bildungssystem langsam aber sicher umgebracht wird bei uns möglicherweise. What happened then? The more I questioned, the more agitated Mr. Chaplain became. Early one morning, the constable came to the house and escorted me away. I didn't even see Mr. Chaplain. My fate did not become evident until I was on the ship coming here. Why did they send you here? People don't like their property to ask too many difficult questions. Being an influential gnome, it was a simple matter for him to have me shipped here. I believe I was perceived as a potential agitator of the workers. May I ask you another question? Of course. What is it you wish to know? Have you seen any dwarves other than Torvald here? No, I have not. Okay. Oh, okay, I must go. Good day. Ich glaube, dem kann man ein Buch schenken. Der liest, glaube ich, ganz gerne. Um. Okay, wir müssen also nicht kämpfen. Obwohl, wir werden vielleicht trotzdem kämpfen. Aber ich überlege gerade, ob wir vielleicht zuerst trotzdem mit Torwald sprechen. Das ist der Typ von den Pits. Vielleicht kann uns der auch sagen, wo wir dieses Biest finden, weil das Biest würde ich schon ganz gerne erledigen. Und wie schon gesagt, wir müssen eigentlich alle Sachen, die wir auf der Insel erledigen wollen, müssen wir jetzt erledigen, weil wir kommen kein zweites Mal auf die Insel. Who is it? Wants me. Hello, sir. Might I ask your name? The man before you is dressed in rags, but hung from head to foot are small objects and trinkets of every kind. The name is Jones. Jones the Collector, they call me out here. Hello. Why do they call you the Collector? Ob das der Collector aus dem uh, Marvel-Universum ist? Wahrscheinlich eher nicht. Because that's what I do, boy. I collect things, all sorts of things, all shapes and sizes and tastes and colors. If it's to uh, if it's to be had on the Isle, old Jones has got it. Get me, boy? Ain't no one knows better about the gettings of things than Jones, the collector. I think I get the picture, Jones. Do you trade as well? Does an ogre's breath smell like yesterday's catch? Trade? Boy, I've been trading longer than you've been asking stupid questions. Na ja, gut, wir sind halb elf. Ich glaube, wir sind älter als der. Boy, I've been... Uh, Jones laughs, slapping his knee. The objects ring and clang as he moves. I'm just joking with you, boy. But yes, I know a fair bit about trade and trading. What sort of things have you been collecting lately? Oh, just about everything that washed up on the shore, old forks and rusted pipes, and the occasional shoe or boot. You looking for shoes? I got shoes you wouldn't believe. None of them match, but out here... Wait, he seems to remember something. You knew around here, boy? Looking to earn some goods, make a trade? It's a possibility. What did you have in mind? Well, I've been trying to get someone to go down to Shades Beach for the last few months. There's something really strange down there, and from what I've been told, plenty of things that a man like me might be interested in. What do you mean by strange? What's down there? 
There's a few mage types around here and they say that just getting with earshot of the place screws up all their spells. Something down there that just didn't agree with magic. Oh, irgendeine große technologische Sache muss dort sein. Plus old Dietrich brought me back a weapon from there the likes and I never seen. I'd go down myself, but they say it's crawling with beasts and what not. Hmm, interesting. What are you offering if I go down there? He squints thinking. I'll tell you what. You bring back some objects from the beach and if you find something good, I'll trade you that weapon I told you about. God knows, I can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah, okay. I'll do so and return. Bringt auch Erfahrungspunkte, nehme ich mal an. Done. Here's where the beach is. He points to place on your map. Good luck to you. I can't wait to see what you dig up. I'll be leaving now. Okay, schauen wir mal. Das so, da müssen wir schauen. Uh, okay, gut. Ist zu klein. Um, ja, soll sein. Ich überlege gerade, sollen wir zuerst diese Sachen erledigen draußen? Ich glaube, da haben wir schon angefangen, oder? Die Runde. Ja, da ist keiner drinnen. Viel mehr gibt es hier nicht. Da ist schon wieder der Ausgang. Schauen wir mal. Jo, schaut so aus, als wäre es das. Hm. Ich überlege tatsächlich, vielleicht sollten wir wirklich... Machen wir zuerst das Außen und dann erst Torwald. Vielleicht finden wir auch dieses komische Biest. Irgendwo muss das ja sein. Nicht weit genug draußen. Ah, da. So, was haben wir da? The Home of Maximilian. Gehen wir mal dorthin zuerst. Oh. It's a spider. Ach ja, gibt Pfeif drauf. Oh, das war aber schnell. Und weiter. Hey, wir sind da, aber ich glaube, wir müssen warten, bis es Tag wird. Ich nehme mal an, in der Nacht schlaft er. Tatsache, er schläft. Human Noble, das sollte uns auch zu denken geben. Hm, da ist eine Chest. Unlocked. Aber leider ist nichts drinnen. Ist das ein Buch? Wir sind schlechte Menschen. Wir brechen alles auf. Na gut, warten bis morgen. Uh, sleep until morning. Hallo, human noble. It is a pleasure. Hello, and who might you be? The man before you is old, but still holds himself with strength and dignity. He seems to take all of you in at once, weighing what he sees before him. My name is Maximilian. A pleasure, Maximilian. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Well, I, uh, I've brought you a jug of moonshine from Norion. Hmm. Machen wir mal zuerst das Geschäftliche. You have? I see that Norion hadn't the backbone to deliver it himself. Maximilian laughs. Not that I can blame him. The wilds are no place to be risking your neck for a jug of potato wine. I appreciate it, stranger. I'm sure he wants a receipt. Of course, here you go. He hands you a note. Thank you. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. What are you doing out here? Hmm, gute Frage. That's my business, friend. The Isle of Despair is no place to be asking a man about his past. I recommend you mind your business, sir. 
Uh, every man has his secrets, believe me, I understand. Perhaps you could better acquaint with me with the criminal mind. I've no doubt you've plenty to hide, sir. Okay. Machen wir das erste. He seems a little surprised. He gives you a shrewd look, making a new appraisal. You are right. Please forgive my short sightedness. No doubt you've things of value to share as well. Perhaps you and I might have something to speak of after all. I'd enjoy that. Tell me of yourself, Maximilian. Na klar. Perhaps now in a good time to t now is a good time to tell stories. But forgive me if I'm a little leery of companionship. I've spent many years out here in the wilds by myself. Might I ask you to tell me of yourself before I begin? Mm, I'd rather not speak of my past nor of my reasons for being here. Of course, it began not long ago. Tell him your tale. <coughs> Na bitte, wir sind ja urlieb, wir erzählen einfach alles. He's silent for a long time. Then, it seems grave times have come to Arcanum, and somehow you've become entangled in her problems. You're a brave soul, sir. Few are those who would do the things you've done. I just want people to stop trying to kill me. Naja, Virtue and Valor. Whaler, allow me to act in no other way. My reasons are my own. Make no judgments concerning them. Ah, schwer zu sagen, was da die richtige Antwort ist. Uh, soweit ich weiß, und so wie er sich benimmt, ist er irgendwie noblen Geblüt und selbst auch sehr rechtschaffen. Ah... Uh, das erste klingt ein bisschen feige. Das zweite klingt ein bisschen arrogant. My reasons are my own. Make no judgments concerning them. Was hat er gesagt? Noch einmal. It seems grave times are bla 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 bla. Few are those who would do the things you've done. With all our reasons, I suppose. I'm not a man to judge one way or another. But I do know that, in the end, a man is the sum of his actions. You will be weighed in the same manner. Why don't you tell me your story, Maximilian? Okay. Yes, it is long past time that someone know my tale. Tell me, friend, do you know of anything of the Kingdom of Cumbria, her capital city of Dernholm, King Praetor the I? I've heard things about that place, but I know very little. I've been there before. Das stimmt ja gar nicht, wir waren noch nicht dort. Du würdest ihn anlügen, wenn du das sagst. Nur mal das, wir sind ehrlich. I see the, Cumbri the Cumbria I speak of was a much different place, far different than what it is today, I'm sure. I speak of a time when Cumbria was a powerful kingdom, when the elves and dwarves would come to her walls to pay tribute to her king. When the banners of the famed dragon knights were a thing to be respected and feared. I take it Cumbria is no longer that place? I've seen Cumbria, it falls far from what you describe. Hmm. Nimm mal was erste. Wir sind freundlich. No, there is no doubt that Cumbria is, a ba is but a shadow of her former glory. The day came long ago when her fate was sealed. The day when technology began to, ri began to rival magic, when the old ways began to fall to the new. What happened? Did Cumbria resist that change? Yes, and vehemently. My... The king at the time, Torren, was a wise and brave man, but set in his ways. Maximilian smiles sadly. He was cut from sterner stuff, but he was like stone, unwavering but inflexible. He failed to see how Cumbria needed to grow to change. And so? And so he passed laws outlawing the use of technology in his lands, and set a ruling council of mage advisors at his side. For years Cumbria was still very strong and influential. 
but it was only a matter of time. What happened? Well, Cumbria was surpassed both in commerce and in power when mighty Tyrant demanded the release of certain disputed lands, Cumbria was taught a harsh lesson. The armies of Cumbria were slaughtered, the dragon knights cut down by gun and cannon fire. The glory of all the days was lost. And what of King Torin? What happened to him? Maximilian looks to the horizon. He is far away. Ja, stimmt. Vor allem sieht man ihn da drinnen nicht. He was killed. He led the final charge of the Dragon Knights and was shot as any common soldier, unwavering and brave to the end. I see. What does all of this have to do with you, Maximilian? He seems to come to himself, looking back at you. With the death of Torin came a power struggle. There were those who believed that Cumbria should embrace the new age to seek a better way and make her powerful again. But others thought differently? <coughs> yes, people cannot see the answer, even when it is laid before them in the form of a dead king. Torin had two sons. The older son believed in the new ways and the younger son believed in nothing. And so the mage council that Torin had put in place put the influence behind the younger son. Ah, yes, the older. Hmm. Wasn't the older son heir to the throne by birthright? Yes, but men will create all manner of evil in pursuit of power. The mage council, who controlled the younger son, brought false allegations against the older son, charging him with treason. He was taken in the night and sent away to rot in prison for the rest of his days. The older son, by gods. Yes, stranger, the older son was me. I was sent here by my own brother, King Praetor I of Cumbria, and I've been here ever since. I don't know what to say. I've no words. Such are the va wageries of politics, Maximilian. That's a shame, old boy. But I must be going. Das ist super. <lacht> okay, wir nehmen das Erste. <lacht> wir sind ja die Netten. No words are necessary, friend. You've done enough to sit here and listen to my story. I've made peace with my past. Life here on the Isle is harsh, but a man learns to live with himself, to accept what life brings. But it was so unfair. Perhaps I could bring you home. Hmm, not a Vorschlag. No, my time in Cumbria has passed. If my brother lives, I'm sure he has paid the price due to him. He was young and foolish when one is a king. Life is unforgiving when you live so. But Cumbria, perhaps the kingdom still needs you. He looks at you, then away to the west. I can still feel her, you know? The stone walls of Durnholm. The rolling hills and wails and tr the trumpet blast of the dragon knights marching to battle. I wake up sometimes and I forget where I am. Come back with me, Maximilian. It's not too late. He looks back again. Perhaps I will ask you this, friend. The captain of the dragon knights was a man named Warren Peldar. He was my one true friend. If he still lives and cares to do so, tell him I'm here and that I'd enjoy once more the pleasure of his company. Hmm. Yo, I will, Maximilian, I swear to you. I thank you, my friend, and he is dead. And if he is dead, then forget about me. I've no desire to return to Cumbria their men of his kind no longer remain. I see. Might I ask you a few more questions? Of course. Are we leaving now? Okay, good. Na gut, wir haben noch einen Auftrag bekommen. Uh, der Auftrag ist gleich einmal viel cooler. Wir sollen Warren Peldar in Dernholm finden. Weiß ich nicht, ob wir den finden. Ist okay, damit können wir leben. 
So, gehen wir weiter zum Shades Beach. Dann schauen wir, was wir dort finden. Ich kann mich nicht erinnern an diesen Shades Beach, muss ich ehrlich zugeben. Was ist das? Ein Enraged Boar. Greif uns die an. Für das, dass er enraged ist. Sind die aber ganz schön langsam. Skull Crusher. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob ich da rumrennen will. Kann man da eine Umgebungskarte vielleicht sehen? Ah, das schaut so aus, als wäre es ein Weg. Folgen wir mal dem Weg. Links oder rechts? Links. Ich lasse das meine Leute machen. Vor allem auf diese Art und Weise. Auf diese Art und Weise kann niemand verletzt werden. Ach verdammt. Ich habe es geschafft, mich eingeholt. Mit Dread Spider. Dread Spider klingt nicht gut. Au! Hörst du auf mich zu hauen, du Dread Spider, du? Oh, das schaut gut aus. Das schaut so aus, als würde es eine wirklich große Maschine sein. Tatsache. Oh! Eine Schematik. Schau da was an. Engine Gears. Okay. Ist mir auch recht. Was mag das mal gewesen sein? Eine Art Boot wahrscheinlich. Und schon was für ein Fisch, für ein großer. Eine Ancient Pocket Watch. Na schon was an. Die Pocket Watch wird er wahrscheinlich wollen. Nehme ich mal an. Vielleicht sollte ich mich ein bisschen geschickter zaubern. Hm, Batterien? Nein, Ancient Filament. Scheint eine Art U-Boot zu sein, ja. Ich weiß nicht, wie wir das da auch noch angreifen. Wow. Skull Crusher, Level 30. Klingt nicht gut. Au! Oh. 
Mhm. Muss nicht so. Wir können das. Sehr gut gemacht, Virgil. Jo, hat uns wieder ein bisschen Erfahrungspunkte gebracht, aber ich glaube, sonst gibt es hier nichts mehr zum Sehen und Finden. Das heißt... Oh. Okay, vielleicht sollten wir noch das da besiegen. Äh ich hoffe, er bringt uns jetzt nicht um. Das wäre nicht nett. Au. Na gut, sollte man uns selbst doch noch ein bisschen heilen. Im Normalfall sollte man zwei Schläge aushalten. Gut, na dann. Zurück zur Isle of Despair. Schauen wir mal. Und das komische Monster auch noch finden irgendwann einmal. Für heute werden wir allerdings Schluss machen. Weil wir haben schon wieder eine halbe Stunde vorbei. Wir gehen nur noch schnell zum Eingang. Naja, ich würde fast sagen, wir schließen die zwei Quests noch ab und dann machen wir Schluss für heute. Und das nächste Mal schauen wir uns dann an, was Log hier zu sagen hat. Und vielleicht machen wir das nächste Mal auch einen Pitfight. So, hello Norian, have your moment, I delivered, I must be off. Und wieder Punkte. Ich fürchte, wir werden keinen Level steigen, wenn wir das zweite erfüllen. Das wird zu wenig sein. Er ist nicht hier, sondern ein Haus weiter. Dieses Haus war das. Are you welcome? Greetings, James. Could I have a moment? I found some uh, objects in the Dingsbums Hill. Oh, that looks like a good trade. Done. I'll take it. And you can have the weapon. He hands it to you. Hmm. No, immerhin. We are already fast in the next level. It's been a pleasure working with you. And with you as well, Jones. Good day to you. Can we not more handle? Ja, das gebe ich ihm nicht. Das möchte ich mir mal anschauen. Kann man sich das anschauen? Na, ach Gott, wir haben es gelernt. Ich wollte es nicht lernen. Ach Gott, so ein Dreck. Ancient Gun Chassis. So, was haben wir denn gekriegt von ihm überhaupt? Das da? Schaut fast so aus. Das ist keine Waffe, das ist nur ein Teil von einer Waffe, verdammt. Ach je. Na, wenn wir hin, die zwei Sachen haben wir erledigt. Na gut, soll sein. Warte mal. Das müsste das eigentlich da drinnen sein. Das ist das, was wir so gelernt haben. Reanimator. This schematic is printed on a strange sort of paper and looks to be very old. The writing is faded almost beyond recognition. Experiments upon the life force, regenerative chemical compounds, unbelievable results, completely revived, revived and functioning normally 
advances then the Grophian science. Ah. Verstehe. Damit kann man Leute wieder zum Leben erwecken. Das ist eigentlich gar nicht einmal so blöd. Bin mir nur nicht sicher, inwieweit wir das technologisch können. Na gut. Wie schon gesagt, an dieser Stelle machen wir Schluss für heute. Ich wünsche euch einen schönen Abend. Schlaft gut und träumt was Schönes. Bis dann.